prior to that interview at the Atlanta Police Department, um, had you ever worked with the police officers prior to that date? I mean, have you ever worked with or assisted law enforcement prior to July of 2015 when you were arrested? I don't recall. Do you recall in that interview telling investigator that you had worked with police prior to July of 2015? No, I don't remember saying that. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. It was a whole lot of telling. Prior to that interview, at the Atlanta Police Department. Um, had you ever worked with police officers prior to that date? I mean, have you ever worked with or assisted law enforcement prior to July of 2015 when you were arrested? I don't recall. Do you recall in that interview telling investigator that you had worked with police prior to July of 2015? No, I don't remember saying that. Do you recall telling Gaither and Dennis during your February 2016 interview that the beef between YSL and If Gang began with a beef between Rich Homie, Quan, and Young Thug? I don't know. I probably I would have said anything to get out of there. Did you also say during that same interview that this beef was on the internet? I don't know. It was a lot of stuff on the internet, but uh... did you also say that Rich Homie Quan was If Gang? Uh, I ain't even even met Rich Homie Kwan. Did you also say in that same interview that Rich Homie Kwan was under Big Nut? I ain't know. met Rich Homie Kwan. I can't say. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that? No. Back in April of 2015, was there a lot of hate for YSL and for YSL? Oh, we the objection. That's uh, like the other question. I had. It's depending on where you send it. Some people didn't like us. Said we were skinny jeans, we were gay. Some people love the music. It depends on where you sent from. Did you tell Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis in 2016 that no one likes YSL now since everything's going on? YSL is his own thing. YSL is blood. You could be blood. You could be crip. You could be nothing. I don't remember saying that, but that sounds kind of true. Like, I just, I said you can be crip, blood, Muslim. Did you tell Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that some of the beef occurred because people from If Gang and YSL were fighting at Club Crucial? I don't recall saying that. And that you were present at some of these fights at Club Crucial between YSL and If Gang. I never got in a fight at Crucial. I didn't say that you've been at the fight, been in the fight. I said that you've been around when the fights occurred at, y at Club Crucial. I've YSL. never been in the fight. i never seen a fight. The only fight I've seen in Crucial was in the ring. Did, within YSL, did, like, the Crips and the Bloods, all who are part of YSL, have inter internal competition? No, I, I never had no knowledge of that. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis in either the August 2016 interview or the, excuse me, August 2015 interview, or the February 2016 interview, that we all slime, but some are Crips, and some are Bloods, and sometimes we have internal competition. I don't recall saying it. Internal, that, I don't even think I would use a word like that right there. You've been a Blood for at least two years. I don't remember what I told her. She asked me a lot of questions. But did you tell her that you were a Blood? I don't recall telling her that. I don't remember. And today is your testimony that you were scared to go to jail because you were false claiming. Yes. Okay. So tell the jury how it false flagging to a gang detective benefits you when you were being charged with participation in criminal street gang activity. I understand the question. Sure. Can you dumb it down? You were being charged with gang activity. That wasn't my first time in trouble with it. Okay. And so if you were false flagging, why didn't you disavow the gang during your interviews? Disavow? What do you mean? Why do you tell her, I'm not no blood, this fate, I've been false flagging for two years, please don't charge me with criminal gang activity, don't already, charge me. I had already been charged with it before I even met her. So why get a second charge for that? If you were false flagging. I, I, I didn't charge myself, I, I don't know why the police put charge with that. So why don't you tell her, I've been lying for years, I ain't never been no blood. 
Why not tell her that? I, I don't remember. I don't know why I didn't tell her that. Okay. Hey, yo, you. Can you subscribe and turn on that bell too? Because when you do, you're helping unbiased independent news. Are you disowned by YSL because you told on another YSL member? No. And is telling snitching on other gang members forbidden in the game? I've heard that before. And did you do that here with Nard? Yes. I remember that video. You remember that video? Yeah, now? I do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. In that video, there were other bloods. Were there other bloods in that video? I, I don't know what they were. They would be all they could be. I don't know. Okay. Did you hear them talking about being blood? Yes. Okay. And you claimed to be a blood too during this time. Did you claim to be a I don't remember what year they were, but probably so. And were you concerned that any of these people were going to beat you up for false claims? No, well, I'm free. I probably could protect myself right there. You can't, you know, much you can do. Did anyone beat you up that day for false fighting? I don't know, because I've been in a lot of fights, though. You had a gun on you that day, right? Did I, you I might have did. I had the gun a lot of days. That says, I'm scared because I'm false claiming being a blood. No. This says, <clears throat> just by you showing me that, I'm dead because now they think I talked. You see what I'm saying? Can you get killed or hurt for snitching? I mean, if you're a false claimant of blood, I think you will. But if you're not, like, affiliated with them, then I don't think no harm will come to you. Then that's my being a blood. Can you get hurt or harmed or snitching? Objection, Your Honor. Foundation. A state objection. Have you heard the term snitching? Yeah. What does it mean? Oh, I just heard it in music and in the people music. saying it. Oh, it don't mean nothing to me. I ain't. Have you heard on telling on, telling on your people to the police? I heard it in music. Yeah. In music? When you heard it in music, is it a good thing or a bad thing? It depends on what, what you're saying from. If you tell on your co defendant or the person you do crime to, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, I don't, I don't know. You don't know. I mean, if you talk, you got a deal. You you don't want to talk, you got a deal. So it might be a good thing to you, but I don't, you see what I'm saying? It depends on what you're saying. During the 2015 July interview, did you ask for a meeting? I don't recall asking for that. I still don't even know what that word mean to this day. I heard it a lot, though. During your July interview, did you ask to go to the bathroom so you get your thoughts together? I don't recall asking that. Thought you went to the bathroom and used the bathroom. In July 2015, were you willing to wear a wire in order not to be charged? I don't recall saying or never wearing a wire. During that same July 2015 interview, you recall asking Detective Gaither, can I deliver the person who was driving and like go freak? I don't recall. That's how that. And after hearing her response, you said, even if I become an informant and wear a wire. I um, definitely don't remember saying that. That's not like a movie. Okay. Were you in this movie? I've never been in a movie. What's for? Why well, sell claims, affiliation with the. That's right, Okay. And did you scratch that out? Yeah. Why? Because I felt like that, that, that wasn't true. So you understood and you changed it because you wanted to make sure that you had a correct acknowledgement? Yeah. Okay. What's five? <clears throat> I am was a founding member of YSL. <clears throat> What's six? Some of the identifiers of YSL are wearing green, red bandanas, wearing clothing with words, YSL, smile, wearing pendants, displaying the letter YSL. Or the word slap. So as far as witness interrogation, I had to give her a solid B, B plus. She can't get an A because she's too long winded, way too verbose. And on top of that, you had to get an emotional response out of people. And she couldn't do that. The way in which you do that, she was starting there. When she was like, why didn't you just say I'm not a real blood and all that? And she almost had it. Almost. But she was missing a couple of elements. What she should have did was try to go into how destructive the gang life is and why he decided to say my tattoos are bad. She literally, he said, I regret 
That was the perfect time to get an emotional response so that it could connect with the jury. I don't think people understand that part. It is very good for you to, and I'm not telling her how to do her job and all that, but this is how I grade. When you make the emotional connection with people, that's when they really tune in. You see what I'm saying? It's like watching a movie and they're not knowing, bro. Hold on. I've been rooting for this person the whole entire time and then they're about to lose. Or sometimes even emotional response can be like, bro, I'm kind of I'm kind of dumb a little bit. I didn't even see that. Like, prime example, Shrek 1. They were talking about the dragon, the female dragon being the princess in the tower. Because in the second Shrek, they actually talk about Fiona's origins and it's not the same one. Bet you didn't know that. But back to it. That boy got exposed as a rat for real. He said he was willing to wear a wire. And the fact of the matter is, is if he did not, and anybody that's getting ready to testify and you watching this, bruh, if that damn attorney says something that is factually wrong, you're supposed to say no. The fact that she was able to say, well, you know, you had the ability to sit up here and correct what was wrong, and you actually did it. He tried to exonerate them from being a part of the Bloods National Gang. <laughs> whoop dee doo So what? And the fact that the matter is, to be authentic, which was he never said things didn't happen. All he kept saying is he don't remember, which means he's playing both sides of the fence. And at this point in time, Go ahead. Now, some of y'all have hopped in my inbox and all that, expressing sympathy and blah, blah, blah. Why are you doing this to this man and all this stuff and everything like that? You don't know him and all this. And you be correct. You be actual factual. But the part of this part is this entertainment and there's rules and regulations that have to be enforced. And I'm sorry to say I get to point out the infractions. And on top of that, bro, you got to remember that man allegedly has committed all type of robberies and shot somebody in the head that was an innocent person. So there's that part. Now, Brian Shard tried to sit up here and paint it as though these dudes were trying to rob um, OG Bentley and all these cats and everything like that and all that, but it is what it is. It may work, it may not. We're going to let them cook and stuff like that because now that they're done, they get to do their cross. And I'm going to be honest with you. If they don't knock this out the park, it still ain't going to matter, bro. Because here's where um, my favorite attorney on the defense failed. She never once got it out of him that Young Thug instructed them to do anything with the exception of what she said when Dolly and his other sister were not supposed to be in the club when Lil Wayne was there just in case it got crazy. That's it. Other than that, bro, she ain't did nothing. And that's my problem with this goddamn Rico is where is the instructions? Where are the follow my footsteps? Once again, like the lady said, bro, do you realize being in a gang is not illegal? Yeah. And then <laughs> she's so terrible with it, bro. She literally allowed him to paint himself as a fake blood. And I'm listening, I'm like, damn, Shotty, you kind of messing up a little bit. You really, you really dropping a ball right now. But I think what she's going to do is she's going to sit there and take some strong notes for, uh, for the recross. Because one thing that he's doing, and I keep saying this shit all the time, they keep on being extra friendly with Thug side. You supposed to be the same way with the prosecution as you are with the goddamn um with the defense and with the defense you are to be with the prosecution so that it comes off as genuine if i'm the jury i'm going to notice how friendly how talkative and how much he now remembers you just came out there and essentially said oh i remember the whole entire night of buddy and them getting shot thinking he's trying to exonerate some stuff but the thing is is bruh if og bentley is an og and made an og call you niggas came up with up there with straps you're actually doing bad because she asked him was og bentley ysl and he said no 
Uh, he's too old or whatever and stuff like that. But if she's able to kind of paint it in a different way, like what is an OG to you? And he just say, oh, it's an older guy. And then you can say, so is every older guy an OG? He probably going to say no. So then all she has to do is tie it back to Cleveland and tie it back to Rock Crew and bring Rock Crew back in to YSL and boom. But we'll see what happens on Monday. Now, what I would like for you guys to do, man, subscribe, turn on that bell, stay notified, share to keep your people aware because I'm going to be dropping other content for tomorrow and Sunday. But I may, I may, I may drop some exclusive YSL shit that I've been holding on to. But I don't think I'm going to do it. I think it's a little too early to do it. But we'll see how it goes.